Many people struggle to understand the differences between an amplifier and a receiver. So let's go over the main differences between those two and why someone may want to use an amplifier or a receiver. Let's start off with explaining what an amplifier does. Basically, it takes an incoming signal, amplifies or strengthens that signal, and outputs it to drive a speaker. Now, typically, an amplifier is not going to have a volume control on it. It may have a gain knob, G-A-I-N, gain, and that essentially means when you turn that knob higher, it's going to output more power to the speaker. It's not the same as volume, but similar as to what the outcome is. It's important for us to understand that a speaker requires an amplifier in order for it to work. No speaker is going to work without some type of amplifier. Now let's move on to receivers. A receiver basically takes an incoming signal, processes it, amplifies it, then outputs it. A receiver is going to include an amplifier no matter what. It's important to know that there's two different types of receivers. There's stereo receivers and audio video or AV receivers. Now first let's go over stereo receivers. Now stereo receivers are only meant for audio. So they'll accept a few different types of inputs. That means it comes from RCAs, auxiliary, sometimes Bluetooth. It, it is more rare for Bluetooth on stereo receivers. And then even a FM tuner. One of the main differences with stereo receivers and amplifiers is that a stereo receiver is going to have source selection on it. Not all amplifiers will have source selection on them. And it will have volume control, which is very important. They also have the ability to manipulate the incoming audio source. So if you want to raise or lower the bass or treble, you're able to do that with a stereo receiver. Now let's move on to audio video or AV receivers. Now these are meant to accept various types of inputs, whether that's HDMI, digital optical, digital coax, RCAs, auxiliary, Bluetooth, and you know sometimes a radio tuner, but very rare for those. Basically, an AV receiver takes an incoming signal, processes it, amplifies the audio to the speakers, and outputs the video to a projector, TV, or some other type of display. Now the biggest difference between an audio video receiver and a stereo receiver is that an audio video receiver is able to decode surround sound audio formats. Most modern AV receivers can handle at least a 5.1 channel system. Now basically that's three front speakers, two rear speakers, and one subwoofer. Now if that's something you're kind of confused about, if you don't really understand what 5.1, 7.2, 9.1 is, uh, check out that video right there. I did a video all about surround sound audio formats, how they, how they work, what they do, all of that. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check it out. Now I want to pause the video for a second right here. If you're enjoying this video, if you're learning something from this, please leave a like. It helps out the channel a lot. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, I'd really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. And let's get back to the video. So let's answer the big question now. Why would someone want an amplifier or stereo receiver over an audio video receiver? Audio video receiver seems like the jack of all trades. You can do all these different things, it has all these different capabilities. Why would you want to go with just a regular amplifier or stereo receiver? Now basically, if you're just looking for a very simple audio listening experience, even if you have really nice speakers, um, if you don't plan on running video through it, then it really doesn't make sense to get an audio video receiver. So people that are listening to vinyl records or high quality audio formats or hi-fi audio, um, you might just want to go with an amplifier or stereo receiver. It's probably the better option for you. But if you plan on you know, watching movies, watching TV, playing video games, then you're going to need an audio video receiver to run a surround sound format. Um, so that's gonna be the main differences as to why someone may want an amplifier or stereo receiver over an audio video receiver. It really just depends on your setup and what you're planning to do with it. So if you're still unsure about what you should go with after watching this video, I would suggest going with an AV receiver. Um, I'd just get a bare bones 5.1 AV receiver and that's probably going to be exactly what you need. You'll be able to connect all your video devices to it. So Roku, uh, Apple TV, Fire TV, Blu-ray player, Xbox, whatever. They'll be able to connect to that AV receiver and they'll work with almost all systems. And it also sets you up to upgrade to a better system if you only have a few speakers now. But that's really just my suggestion to you. You can do with that what you want. It's really up to you and up to what you're planning on doing with your system. That's really it. Um, I think I answered most questions that people may have. If you still have a question that I didn't answer in this video, leave that down in a comment below. Um, if I answered a question you had, also leave that and that'll make me feel good. I'll understand that I actually helped someone with this. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please click like. 
Also, subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of new videos coming out to you soon, and we'll see you next time. Bye.